participate in that one, I might just sit back and watch because <laughs> I've not been able to figure out Florin for the life of me. We can't get plastic bags in New York, so hey. I'd probably be watching too. We can I send can you show you. you. Mine. What? Okay. What I did you send? Say? I could send like eight truckfuls of plastic bags to Julie. Oh, oh. no, that's okay. I'll go to jail. <laughs> We've been here chatting for about 30 minutes. So uh, we're getting in the middle of the conversation. But hi, how are you doing? I am so glad that you're here and I'm glad you're looking forward to it. I'm excited. I know what the rest of us are. Absolutely. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, Hello. David. Welcome back. And I am getting in while I'm doing Hi, Joy. Uh, I am getting into my other screen, so I'm going to have to move hey. the light. Come on. Hey, Ursula. How are you? Hi, Kay. Hey. Let me turn on my chat. I know. I had to do the same thing. Oh, wait a minute. I can't see the chat. I have it on my phone, Ginger. Oh, you're using oh, your phone now. Yeah. I'll just listen to what you guys say. <laughs> okay all right i need to make it mute on one side oh actually no don't do it i'll just mute my computer no i can't do that because then i won't hear you guys that's not gonna work <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all just trying to figure this out for the first time guys yeah. so you get to see it and witness it and live in technicolor all at the same time it's all good and remind us over and over and over how smooth this went <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Tell us how awesome, uh, how we're awesome. Um, okay. Oh, hey, Ingrid. How are you? Yeah, it looks like um, we had one person say that they couldn't hear anyone. Uh, that was Vicki Smith, but it sounds like everybody else can hear. So I'm thinking that that might be something on Vicki's end. Okay. So but you're good now, Vicki? Because I see here got all of you now. <laughs> Thank you, David. You're awesome. I appreciate you. Um, all right, Julie, I also wear those earphones when doing tutorials. It's better for the sound. Does it record every single little sound? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a lot better than the mic on my laptop. So, Okay, good, Vicki. Thank you. Thank you. So um, as people are coming in, the very first thing, I want to know what's on everybody's hook, if uh, you could tell us. I know I asked earlier this morning, some of you that were with me this morning. but Oh, I know it's on my hook, but it's oh, in the no. other room. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine's in the other room. But I'm, I'm, work I'm working right now on another cowl. Um, the same cowl that I've made three times in a row now because I love making that cowl. So that's what's on my hook right now. Nice. Is that the one that you have a tutorial for? The column stitch? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. The, the column stitch cowl. I have a couple of them with me. Those are so pretty. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I love them too. And they're so, so fast. I just had a, a viewer today say she made one in like a day and she's like, it went so fast. So I guess that really could have been a Christmas gift idea that I didn't even think oh, of. No. You're a quick gift idea. Surprise. Julie, you're ruining my surprise because I'm just going to show you. <gasps> it was going to oh. be number four on my list. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at gonna that. Going to give me happy tears. <laughs> I literally got goosebumps. Oh, that was so sweet. Did you, did you find it pretty easy? I did. I loved it. It was a, it was wonky to get started for me, but yeah, after that it was easy. I made it a little. I did like fifty five stitches just because I'm bigger, and then I made it a little bit longer so it draped the way I yeah. wanted it to. Yeah. Oh, okay, Granny Square, you're Ursula. Thank you so much. I'm actually I have a, a, a spreadsheet that I make on that. I'm going through the chat again. I'm sorry, I'm behind. Yeah, it, we were talking about how it's it's going to be a little bit tricky for us to keep up with the um, the chats. But uh, yeah, it looks like Ursula just finished a Christmas dinner tablecloth border, deep red Ooh. velvet. That's, that's nice. 
Ooh, is that on your? I'm I'm gonna have to go. You know what, Ursula? I'm gonna. I saw when you subscribed earlier, and I'm gonna like follow you back because I want to see this stuff if you have it posted somewhere. Hi, Iris. How are you? And if I missed anybody or we missed anybody, it's it's not a slight. We're just trying to catch up, keep up, and everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, Tammy. And David says I mentioned a sale I'm doing next weekend. Yes, you did. And I want to finish as many whips between now and then. I'm finishing a scarf right now. If I have enough yarn left, there'll be a matching hat. That's awesome. Oh. I love it. And are you posting those on Instagram whenever you finish them? I know you're trying to just get through them quick. So they are beautiful, Julie, um, Ingrid, aren't they? Her her um, cowls. And they're super easy to make. So you should. Oh, thank out. you. They'll yeah. Yeah. Super, super easy. Below whenever. Um, I don't know if I have it. Now, Julie, when you put. When you put the pom poms on, do you just make a string, put the pom poms on after? But where on the cowl do you put the string? Um, I just kind of ran it through the first. Well, on this one, I didn't even do a drawstring. I just put it on the string and tied oh, it on. It's um, so but cute. the other one, I ran a drawstring through like the first, the first column. Okay. Just, okay. But um, yeah, I found I didn't really use the drawstring much, so I just ended up sewing the pom poms oh, okay. on because I just thought they were cute. They are, they are yeah, ginger, super cute. Ginger is Thanks. making her quick Christmas idea. She's making it right now. Right now, <laughs> live, down there. <laughs> <laughs> we could totally do the Brady Bunch thing. Oh, this is great. I love it. Hi, Ginger. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mel, how are you today? <laughs> oh, I'm looking the wrong way. It's yeah. backwards. It's yeah. Backwards, exactly. <laughs> I love it. Whoops. Hilarious. <laughs> so who all's here so oh. far? Ursula and David and Ingrid. Uh, oh, Kate has Kate Tammy says hello from Oregon. Um and Iris and Vicky and Joy. Yes. Uh, everyone. And I'm looking here. And Kate Hannon from Oregon. Oh, you already said that. Tammy Moore. Iris. Joy. Ingrid, or, uh, Ursula says she invited to another two South Africans. We'll see if they show up. That would be so cool. I love to. Cool. To see it when we get people from all over the world. So neat. Oh, crochet in my house and Kay are both in here. Hi, Charlotte. <laughs> Kay's lurking. <laughs> She's trying to eat her dinner. <laughs> and stars here. Eat your dinner. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, before we get started, I am going to ask, there's a couple things. One, I'm going to ask a question of everybody. Not a get to know question like I do in the mornings. I'm sorry. I was looking for my notes and I forgot they're on the computer. That's silly. Um, but uh, so the question I want to ask to start things off as people are still filtering in is what is one thing this week crochet wise that you're really loving right now? And I will answer. I will let y'all answer. Who wants to go first? I'm. I just am a live in the moment person, so I am really loving this. <laughs> I love this. I didn't get that about you at all. I never. I never knew that. <laughs> yeah. <Here's a> <laughs> Ursula's loving Christmas ornaments. Yay. Yay! That's a good show to watch today. Then, <laughs> I, I I told Mel uh, earlier today that my favorite crochet thing that I discovered this week was something that I didn't even get to keep for myself, and it was um, the go bag that that I uh, oh, picked up for yeah. the giveaway. Yeah, that went in the mail today, so I, I thought about keeping it, but I didn't. I was good. I sent it on. <laughs> sent it on to the next person. So we all know what to get Julie for Christmas. 
Yeah, my husband, <laughs> my husband's already on to that. He's like, oh, good. Now I, I have no questions. I know what to get. So hi, Kathy Ann. Hats, hats, and more hats. That's awesome. Uh, loving anything latte cakes related. Oh, you know what? I have a baby blanket on deck to make with latte cake. Ooh, <gasps> that sounds and beautiful. Yeah, I have it. They're just so soft and fluffy. Um, looks- Tammy, I'm sorry, you go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say it looks like Tammy's making some pocket shawls. And um, let's see, I saw another one. It's hard to keep up with all of the um, the comments. Uh, yeah. uh, Sa- Saperonia, I don't know how to say that. It's a shawl. Uh, and that's what Crochet at my house is working on. What, how do you say it? I, I don't know if this is right. Saponaria or? Uh, Saponaria. That looks right. Of course, I'm trying to read it without my glasses, so. I'm sorry, Ingrid, you couldn't hear. Okay, so the question is, what is uh, one thing that uh, crochet related that is, um, how did I say it again? That you are loving this week. <laughs> yes, that you are loving this week. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm in Canadian, so sweater weather started. So, dudes. Yes. Oh, yeah. And you have that new sweater that you made from your anniversary cake. Oh, and that's Ooh. another thing that I'm loving this week is is making all of the squares for my my uh, sweater that Kate has done her tutorial on. What is that sweater called? Yeah. Is there a name for that, Kate? What I just call it Kate it? Sweater. Hooded Campfire Cardigan. Oh, something. Hooded Campfire Cardigan. Yes. Yeah. I just call it the Kate Sweater. It's good enough for me. Yes. I've uh, already got a bunch of squares already made, so I'm going to use my squares that I've al- that I already have had to make my Kate sweater. Yeah, that's, that's, a good that's idea. the idea. Make so it, it's uh, going to be colorful. It's yes. going to be your, your Technicolor dream coat. Yes, people will start calling me Joseph. Ursula says your cardigan, Kate. Ursula says that. Um. Oh, oh, Kathy Ann's making hats for the charity drive. Yes, she does most of her crochet for charity, from what I understand. So um, Kathy Ann's making a bunch of hats for charity drive, so she's enjoying that. I'm going through some chats here real quick. Uh, Crochet at my house. She doesn't know the name of the shawl either. (laughs) (laughs) Ursula Uh, is asking Kate about the blanket behind her. Um, Ursula, get in line. We've been asking about that blanket ourselves. All four of us have been talking about that. She's mm-hmm. promised that she would show us how to make that. So that is amazing. It is an upcoming tutorial. Yay! Okay. Sign me up. What are more? So she got those tutorials up. It's time for the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once the sweater's done, we can move on to another one. I like my big projects. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a little project person myself, so I can get stuff done. But I have I have been working on the pocket shawl here that's still in my bag. Um, Iris was saying that she's working on a shawl. And let's see here. Star is saying she's loving working with the Hirschner's new worsted weight or worsted eight heather. So it's a type of yarn. I'll have to I'll look that up. <laughs> Is Heather the color or the type of it's the line? I'm pretty sure. Is it the line? Okay. She's making a shawl pattern into an afghan with it. Huh. Okay, Ooh. cool. Cool. That and sounds James nice. Says, mm-hmm. uh, for him, uh, his best crochet thing uh, for this week is for me, it's meeting so many people here for the first time. That's awesome. Come on. Uh, that's how we all met. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Have you guys checked out David's Instagram? His bearded, what is it? Bearded yarn dudes? Yes. Bearded oh, yarn dudes. I'll have to check yeah. it out. This yeah, is my, my, my first uh, meeting with David. So hi, David. It's good to meet you. <laughs> and then, uh, da, da, da. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, Ursula says about your blanket, is that Rasta Keller's so chilled? <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Yeah, but I guess they are. Not on purpose. <laughs> I don't think Kate, was that intentional? No. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm not that cool. Oh, you're cooler than that. You are. You're cooler. Look, my yeah. blanket matches Kate. Oh, now I have to see it. The one on the back. Oh. They're the same colors. Because they they're black and yellows. Oh, okay. And red. Okay. See, I'm just seeing like taupes in a black and gray. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's got red and <laughs> brown. Well, it's got, got it. it does have the brown and the gray. But those, you know, those are the neutrals. I got you. Okay. And I guess I probably am drawn to the neutrals. I tend to make stuff for my house in neutrals. Oh. Which I need to put some color in my house, right? There you go. <laughs> I like the colors. <laughs> Looks like Crafty Violet stopped in. Hello, Crafty Violet. She's working on that is hug shawl. Hug in a shawl. Ooh. That sounds oh, nice. I saw that. That's that, that's one I want to make, but I have too many things on my list right now. <laughs> and there's Joy and Lizzie King's here. Hey, Lizzie King. Nice. Got lots of friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so the next thing that we're going to go over is um, uh, we're going to go through and just talk about what's new on each of our channels. I'll go like, oh, you know what? What did I, I never did say what my favorite, um, my favorite thing this week and I think I'd have to go with probably the, the lives because that's what it, I've been focusing on this week and everything so I'll have to go mm -hmm. with that going live and seeing all you guys here I've oh. been very excited about this <laughs> yeah I think we all yeah. have yeah. yeah we're all we're all a little bit geeking out finding some finding our new friends and we're, we're working this out so we're, we're trying to get a format um so if any of y'all have any suggestions after the fact, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. We will take everything into consideration and make sure that the next one is even better. And that's going to be at Ginger's. So yes. Ginger's <laughs> it's going to be at the Gingerbread House. I'll, yeah. be a little, I'll be a bit more prepared next week than I was this week. <laughs> I like the idea that you used that you used it. Um, the fact that we're talking about quick gift ideas. And you're going to show us how quick this gift idea is because she's going to finish her gift by the end of um, of our show. So that's pretty cool. Look at that. This is that was a piece of yarn a little while ago. I was looking. I thought Kate had something to say, but she's doing something. Um, I think she's found a piece of paper. I got some notes. <gasps> oh, it's cool. an analog chat. My volume is low. How do I get that to go up? Hmm. I what might have some things working in the other room. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you, Terrence. Let me see if I can figure out what was it. What was the other note? I saw that part. Yeah, just not as loud as the other two. Oh. I guess you two are loud. That's just because Mel's nicer. She's soft spoken. <laughs> I know I'm not. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I don't know. I'll I'll yell. My husband is <laughs> what that. <laughs> um let's see here. Um oh, I just turned you guys up. I didn't turn my mic up. Now you're okay, let me turn it down. <laughs> Go ahead, Julie. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, it looks like Ursula was saying, uh, agreeing with you, Mel, that participating in the lives have been new and fantastic, really meeting more people and getting to know mm -hmm. more YouTubers. And I, I, I know for a lot of us, that's really why we, we do this is to mm -hmm. meet other people. It's, it's not so we'll be recognized in Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We're already recognized in Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so um, the last thing before we get into our quick projects, and if we have time after we do the quick projects, and we'll we'll talk chit chat some more. I mean, after we get, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean to say. So um, next is we're gonna all go over what is new or what we something that we, we want to tell you about our channel upcoming or new, just channel updates. And okay. I will go last. So Julie, if you want to start. Yeah, sure. Um, so for my channel right now, I just recently did a giveaway, which was fantastic. Um, I announced the winner last night. So that was my first giveaway. And I put that package in the mail today and it just was so sweet. Um, so congratulations to Gail, my first winner. Um, so that was, um, that was exciting. And I did start doing a couple little chats in my car on my way to work because Time management is really a struggle when you're working full time. And um, those of you who do the YouTube thing, it can take up a lot of time too. just the filming and the editing. And then, of course, if you're going to film and edit anything, you have to have something to show. So you've got to do that crocheting project, too. So all of this stuff takes time. So I started uh, doing a few little chats in my car. I got a little off track this week, had a little bit going on in my personal life. Um, but yeah, hopefully next week maybe get back into that groove. So that's what's new on the Whippy Chick channel. Love it. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'm checking chat really quick. Fingerless gloves make a quick gift. Yes, Iris, that's absolutely correct. I don't think any of us have this in what we're gonna, fingerless gloves and what we're gonna show. I'm fine now, thank oh. you. Thank you, uh, Ursula, I appreciate you letting me know that my volume's fine. Um, Oh, Nancy says it's still low. So I guess it depends on who. So I will try and talk louder. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hope to get you some captions. Yes. Uh, Kate, what's going on at your channel? Well, uh, part three of the campfire cardigan is going to be coming out this week. Uh, also, my giveaway closes on Friday. And... I said that if we got to 700 subscribers, I would give away both packs of yarn. It looks like so we're getting close. that. Yeah. So, I yay. think you'll be there. Way to go. That's awesome. So, oh. I'm apparently giving away a lot of yarn this week. If you <laughs> have not entered, you definitely should. And yeah. I just think you're going to have more, more space for more yarn, right? Yeah. Hey. Uh, I've got yarn like waiting to come up here. <laughs> I've got yarn waiting to get into the waiting area. I get that. <laughs> Ginger's got some in her car. I have no doubt that right now there's some in her car. There's it's always yeah, yarn in my car. <laughs> I thought it was all, and it, you had moved it all in, but you're still, you're still in the process of moving it in, aren't you? Oh, oh, I've gotten more. Oh, ha! okay. And I felt bad about my yarn shopping this week. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, never feel so bad about that. <laughs> uh, Julie, David said he just subscribed to you, so thanks, uh, David. That's uh, that's the bearded yarn dudes. Bearded and, yarn. Uh, dudes. Ursula, Ursula says, Kate, she's loving your campfire cardigan. Oh, that's so sweet. And she loves the color choices. Well, you Julie, know. I'm a color you, though. Ursula there. loves your chats. <laughs> My chats? Yeah. Thanks, Ursula. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Life happens. Sometimes it gets in the way. So do our best. Yeah, it does. Um, all right, so Yarn Geek, what's going yeah. on with your channel? Okay. Well, oh, Ginger. Oh, Ginger. So I did my first, I started my first giveaway ever, like ever for anything, ever. And okay. yeah, I did it for a thousand K on my ch on my channel. And uh, it's a great big four cubic feet of yarn in a box. It's literally. Wow. Wow. Two, two feet by two feet 
by one foot. Yeah. Wow. And it's stuff, a, it, it's got an anniversary cake in it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. It, that's it, a box of yarn. Spoiler yeah. alert. <laughs> that is a lot of yarn. Wow. Yeah. So I just kept putting it in there and I was like, oh, this is awesome. And um, so anyway, I got that big box and I'm going to do the random comment picker. I accidentally said random condom picker earlier this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> so um, anyway, next Saturday. <laughs> Was it Saturday? Yes, the 23rd. Is that Saturday? No, that's Friday. Next Friday, October 23rd is when the drawing for that's going to be. And I, I think this as well. Okay. Wait, what time are you doing yours? 7 p.m. Atlantic. Okay. So that is, I don't know, four in the afternoon for you or something? Oh, okay. I think I was going to do mine a lot later. So like eight or something. Oh, yeah. You guys will have plenty of space yeah. between you because you're yeah. two hours behind. Yeah, and, uh, Kate. So. Oh, bye, Kate. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Bye -bye. Oh, bye, Kate. Bye, Kate. Not you, not you, Kate, with bitches and stitches. It's another Kate with a C. It's Kate <laughs> yeah, it's another C A T E, Kate. Yay. Yeah. She's uh, So then on Instagram, I'm also having one too, a giveaway, because I figure, well, as long as I'm doing one here, I might as well do one over on Instagram. But that's Instagram. And uh, I think that's it. I'm still doing Vlogtober every day. And except I'm a little behind. And you're live at five. And my live at five. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And that's a lot. That, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. And on Saturday mornings, I just had a a yarn swap with Kim um, mm -hmm. from Affordably Crafty. And so on Saturday mornings, I'm just going to jump on her live with her. Oh, and and right immediately after mine every day, or I mean every okay. Saturday. So just to hop in and say, hey. Her, her <laughs> little boy, I, was, I hadn't finished the video yet, but her little boy was so cute. Oh, he is adorable. He was, he's adorable. Uh, okay, and I guess I'm I'm the last <coughs> one there as far as what's going on with my channel. Um, I have a tutorial coming up. Hopefully, I can get it posted tomorrow, Monday at the latest. And then I have uh, a darn good yarn unboxing. And there's going to be a giveaway attached with that. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and then I have my big monthly giveaway. It's going to be announced probably at the end of uh, next week or the beginning of the following week. I don't want it to run too much into the darn good yarn thing. Um, and I have a bunch of other things that I have in the works that I'm working on editing. So uh, a few things come in. And of course, there's my lives on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Because I can't get up that early. Sorry, Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all right oh what time are your what time are your lives julie oh uh, mine are sundays at one okay. and yeah i have to make them rhyme so that i can remember so i remember sunday fun day one day and then for us it's saturday night live at five because <laughs> otherwise i can't remember i can't remember I, stuff i'm the same way i can't remember days so I figure if I just do it every day at five, then I'll never forget. <laughs> there you go. Oh. It's time in uh, Earth <coughs> time. EST. Yep. Same as me. That, yeah. Yep. So that it's 11 a.m. Eastern Standard. I should have mentioned that. I apologize. But yes. Um, all right. And we are at the 30 minute mark. So I think that probably now is a good time to go over our quick project. Yay. Yay. So I think I'm going to go first. Sounds good. Yeah, we're going to go in the same order. So yes, Julie, I think you're you're up first. 
All right. So um, for my, oh, sorry, I keep bumping my, my table here. Um, for my very quick, very easy Christmas gift project idea, I decided to do dishcloths. So here's my first one. And it's very hard to hold on the screen here because everything is backwards for us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And anybody else having trouble with that? So anyway, this is supposed to look like Santa Claus's belt, <laughs> but it's just a dishcloth and it is made with corner to corner. And then I put a border around it. So very simple. I don't think it took me more than a couple hours to make this. Very easy. And I used all, um, what's that kind of yarn, that all cotton yarn that you get at AC Moore and... What's it called, guys? Sugar and cream, something and cream. Oh, yeah. Oh. Peaches and cream. Or Peaches and cream, cream, sugar and cream, something like that. I think it's sugar and cream. So anyway, that's what I use for all of my uh, dishcloths. So this is dishcloth number one. My husband did not see the Santa uh, belt in it. He thought it was a hurricane warning flag. So <laughs> he's like, it's a hurricane flag. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this might be a fail. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Yeah, put a little gold gold square in the middle. That's what my son said. He said it needed the the little square. So yeah, maybe it's just unfinished. It's a UFO. I think it's perfect. <laughs> I, I love did it again. That actually, yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't see the the flag until you mentioned that. Yeah, I didn't either until he said it. And then I just cracked up. I'm like, oh, boy, he's absolutely right. It does look like a hurricane flag. What did you say, Kate? Now it's all I can see. So Yeah, I know, right? It's all I can felt before, but now it's... <laughs> oh, my goodness. They'll use them on the Weather Channel. <laughs> Um, my other uh, idea for dish class was to do the little, um, it's like, it's supposed to be a Christmas ball that you hang on the tree. This was a challenge for me, you guys coming up with a, a Christmas idea. I don't do a lot of Christmas ideas. Um, but so that's what these dish cloths are. But you could also use them for like a hot mat, like to put a hot pan on top of so you don't melt your tablecloth or countertop or whatever. So they're, they're just, um, they're just flat circles really with a half double crochet and this little topper. And we were talking earlier that this one looks more like Frankenstein than Christmas. But <laughs> like I said, it was a challenge. I, I really struggled to come up with some uh, ideas that were just my own. Next time I'll probably just head over to Pinterest and steal someone else's <laughs> ideas. <laughs> I, I did that a little bit this time, but I have links. So, There's links below. <laughs> yep, I did actually do a tutorial for this one. Um, I, I can't imagine why. <laughs> I'm not sure anyone would want to make it, but I would. I'll make I, it. Yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. You would? Okay. Yes. You yeah. Tutorial. That's super cute. Okay. Yeah. Well, there, there will be one coming up probably in the next couple of days. Um, I filmed it today. Um, it's a very funny little tutorial because my dog who was sleeping behind me was snoring and making kind of like whoop, 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 noises and Aww. yeah, it's, it's really a very professional job. <laughs> so anyway, that'll be out in a, in a few days. Nice. So that awesome. is all I had. Um, yeah, I was struggling. I was struggling. I, you did good. I think I you're very good, good Christmas Eve. Aw, thanks guys. <laughs> Such nice friends I have. Well, and they can be great de they can be great decorations too, like hang on the wall or hang on the well, actually you could do them a lot smaller and make a garland, I guess, with them. Yes. Yes. That, even that big and make a garland. That would be really cute. For Halloween or Christmas. <laughs> That's right. We just need to put a face on that. And I'm telling you. Good. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is Christmas at the Munsters right there. It just needs a couple eyes and you've got Frankenstein. <laughs> or even orange with a green top and make a pumpkin. There you go. That would work too. Oh, you guys are nice. Making me feel better about my, my Christmas balls. <laughs> <laughs> like my like my back balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for those of you at home watching, you knew we had to go there. You knew we did. <laughs> we can't help it. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm lonely here with these people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's next? Who's next to show off their, their fun stuff? I made slippers. Ooh. We all need slippers. This is my never fail. Always works. Will fit anyone. Slipper pattern. And I'm going to be having this up. You make it with the cheapest yarn you can find. Because nice. you want it to be, you know, thick. And you want it to be able to wear. So Red Heart Comfort. Ten bucks a truckload. <laughs> really in slippers. But, I mean... You can't go wrong. So this is this is my favorite slipper pattern I've ever made. Nice purple. I mean, I love them. I do too. I would do wear you those. Good, you're yeah. all getting them for Christmas. Yay! Hey. Okay. Good. Nobody ever makes me stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I always make it for everybody else. I'm in touch with that. <laughs> yeah. We totally have to make each other Christmas gifts. You guys are all getting a hurricane flag for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it. I, yeah, well, then I, I would love it. I need at least two pairs of slippers for a hurricane flag. <laughs> hey. So how long do those take you to make, Kate? Uh, they take me about an hour and a half. I've been making them for years, so probably no more than a few hours for, you know. For a newbie. You're a confident beginner. Yeah, that's good. It's really, it's, it's half double crochets, slip stitches, and some front and back post double crochets. Nothing really complicated. I'll be checking and that really out. Yeah. Other stitches too, so that's, that's nice as well. Cool. Nice. Love them. Plus they're purple. They're... And everybody loves purple. Exactly. Who doesn't love purple? <laughs> <laughs> I like so, purple. Are we all frozen? No, 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 no. That was me. That was me. I just, uh, I wanted to give back. I, I, sorry, you guys, for any technical difficulties I had. I did freeze for a minute. I couldn't hear anything. So oh. but I'm back. I think I'm back. Let me know if I'm not. <laughs> Mine, You're here. Mine's frozen on me with like four chins. <laughs> <laughs> it's a god awful picture. <laughs> oh, you're not frozen on my end. Okay, yeah, I'm not frozen on my end. <laughs> okay, I'm good then. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yarn geek, are you? Or I keep calling you yarn geek. I know you're ginger, but are you finished with your um, stocking? Well. Yet? Okay, here it is. It's not done yet. By the time you're finished talking about yours, it will be. But can you see it? Wow. Look at okay. that. I've got this much of the stocking done. I'm going to make a tutorial for this. It's super easy. Um, but by the end of the show, I will have added this on the top. Using the size 5 yarn, a end hook, or 10 millimeter. And I, yeah, I started it, what, less than an hour ago? Yeah, you started it right before we went live. Yeah, so, so about 40 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Very quick and easy. Well, the, the clock is ticking, Ginger. Keep it up. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then, okay, so the thing about these stockings is that you can make them any size. And... Um, you know, of course, the smaller they are, the quicker they're going to be. But you start mm -hmm. off with a square. You fold it in half. You draw the toe together. You stitch up the back. You stitch this up. And then you just go around. Well, I go around and then back around this way. And then back around this way. And then back around this way. Okay, and this is all half crazy. double crochet. Mm -hmm. Then, um, okay. And I'm going to add this on the top for a little fluffy white top. Okay, the second thing I already had made, but these are super easy, little uh, coasters. Oh, and those are cute. So cute. The poinsettia. The, the, oh, it does. The yeah. 
and it's just a granny or it's kind of like a granny square but it's you know a hexagon wait a minute is it a hexagon yes yeah six sides okay oh look it could almost be one of those <laughs> <laughs> but it's I a love it. and these can also be if you decide oh well hey they're so fast and easy i'm going to make like 20 then you can put them together and make a blanket <laughs> Perfect. But, you know, if you just want to make coasters for somebody, this is super easy. Yeah. Or you can make a garland out of that, too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> they almost look like a wreath, too. Like you could, you know, have like black or white in the middle and then green around the outside and make it like a wreath. Yeah. And put little decorations Ooh. and stuff on it. Yeah. That's a great idea. Oh, make little cup. There would be coasters with the decorations all around here and you set your cup inside it. Yeah. That'd be cute. That would be very you identify cute. your your cup by the by the coaster. There you <laughs> <Yeah>. go. <laughs> that works. Hi, affordably crafty. Welcome to to our, our little live here. <laughs> hey Kim. Mm -hmm. Kim, thank you. Yes. I know. I, I cannot remember everybody's names. Ginger, Ginger's gotten so good at it. I just say, Ginger, who's this? Who's that? Because she knows them all. I love how we do all it in right. the live. We'll put somebody's um, like YouTube name and then equals and then their name. There you go. Yeah. Could be scrolling at the bottom of the screen. There you go. <laughs> that would be great. Yes. My <laughs> little buddy joined us. I don't know if you caught that. Yes, yeah, Cinder. Um, I saw Cinder. <laughs> so I guess Cinder. it's my turn. Um, it and we'll see if Cinder can get that, that stocking finished. Uh, so I have a few. Um, I'm going to start with the easiest one first. Now I have links to the tutorials for these that I did not make up. I have links to them. But super quick Christmas gifts to do. Um, this one is a scrunchie. It's called a hyperbolic velvet scrunchie. And I actually learned how to make this in uh, Moogly, one of Moogly's lives. And I have that linked down below because she has it on her channel now as an uploaded video. But all you need is a, a rubber band inside. And then um, you just do a lot of double crochets. It's really easy. So you do like a single and then a bunch of double crochets in there to get this little curly look. Oh, that's so yeah. cute. I could use some of those for my ponytail. <laughs> I know, I, I should start putting them around my bun. Um, I have to be oh, that'd be cute. That. <laughs> yeah. I should start putting them around my bun. Um, and then the next one is, I make these all the time, these hats. Now I learned how to, there's a bunch of different variations of this hat. In fact, I think, um, Jada and Stitches did one on a live uh, not too long ago, just without the fold-up brim. But I learned how to make this from um, Make and Do Crew. So I have that link down below. And uh, you can make it without a pom-pom. Or, which I have these, here's two without a pom-pom. There's this one, that one. And this is how the striping looks. It's a vertical stripe. As opposed to a... Um, you know, if you go around yeah. anyway, mm -hmm. so that. they work up flat and then you can, you, um, bring yeah, them, to, cinch a, them at the top. Yeah. It's a 14 and a half by how, whatever length you need, usually somewhere between 18 and 22 inches, mm -hmm. but 14 and a half sometimes gets a little long for me. So this one I made for me and that's with my beautiful pom pom. And this isn't going to look right. Cause I got a big old bun. On I was going to say fashion show, fashion yeah. show. I have a big oh. Old on my head. oh, it looks and good. Then, and then wait, wait, wait. Here's Julie's. I cowl. love that you made my cowl. Oh, that makes me so excited. <laughs> there we go. So now I can't see. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. It's, I'm probably making all sorts of noise because it's right on the mic. That um, is so cute. It looks and great. I it's a little bit longer, but uh, I fold this back up. There we go. Now I'm nice and cozy and warm. For yeah, winter. you are. For me, with work and everything, if I was focusing on this, I could have made both of these in one day. So, um, and that's a that's a full set to give to somebody. So Julie's Cal and Make and Do Crew hat. 
the big old pom pom. I love that. Love it. Love it. I think three skeins of just so you guys know, three skeins, and I made mine a little bit bigger, but three skeins of unforgettable yarn. All right. Oh, I just gave away unforgettable yarn. That was hard to give away. <laughs> oh, it's so that. pretty. I wanted yeah, to enter, so but I like I like other people to win that that because I have plenty of yarn. So um and then my final, final thing, this is one that I made, but it's super duper easy. It's an ear warmer. So it's a ribbed ear warmer. And this tutorial is going up. Now, most of you guys probably know how to make an, a ribbed ear warmer. The only thing that I did is uh, that's really notable is you can't tell what starts and ends. So it's a completely seamless join. Oh. But it's right. made four inches by, again, wrapping around your head. Um, 18 to 22 is usually about average. You need to not do that here, honey. Okay. Honey's, my, my honey's not being PC. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Okay, let's we're see. A family show. We're a family show. We can't. Um, <laughs> so that's why you're warmer. That looks great. It looks so cozy. Oh, I yeah. love it. Does it get pretty cold down there in the mountains? Um, it does. It can. Yeah. 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 Kate, uh, does it get cold up there it, in it, Canada? In, in Canada? Canada? Yeah. Does it get cold up there? Actually, Star was asking if you were going to post some snow pictures. So you're going to have to do an outdoor version yeah. in a blizzard trying to show us your yarn. <laughs> I will do that. I mean, you normally don't get snow until sometime after Christmas, so yeah, we get snow like crazy. But it, I mean, we get we it gets cold, but I think that it probably gets much much colder where Kate is up on the mm -hmm. the North Atlantic. <laughs> I'm I'm from Western Canada, so I'm used to prairie cold. Oh, that yeah. wind. Mm -hmm. yeah. This isn't as oh cold as damp and gross, so. Yeah, I hate damp and, and gross. I get damp and gross. No. So, That's too wait, cool. you said something about the wind chill. Now, you probably get a lot of wind coming off of the um, off of the ocean, don't you? Yes. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> she said it was minus 70. With the no, I oh, oh, I missed that. that. I've wow. Never wait. seen it that cold here. Oh, oh okay. yeah. It's really damp here. In the West, it's it's a dry cold. <laughs> oh, I no. Minus 50 is minus 50, dude. So you got to dress up for it. Yeah. <laughs> Anything below I mean, minus 30, you know, it's cold. It's, it probably all feels the same. Just, you know. Yeah. Cold. Yeah. <laughs> Cold. Yeah, there's a it's just cold. Then there's, you know, really cold. Then there's Canadian stop barbecuing cold. <laughs> Which is colder than really cold. Wow. <laughs> so it takes a lot for them to stop barbecuing. That's funny. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, we, we don't get snow up here until probably like January. Usually it's about January. Now, if you go up the mountain, like where my mom lives, she might get it in late December, but um, yeah, I'm a little bit further down the mountain. So yeah, affordably crafty is actually asking where Mel and I are from. So Mel is from the Smoky Mountain area of North Carolina, and I am from upstate New York. So I'm the closest to Canada, <laughs> just four hours away. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. from the border of Canada, <laughs> from Niagara Falls, Canada. <laughs> No, I'm going to, um, cause we haven't looked at this question. So we got about 10 minutes left. Um, I'm going to try and get some questions. See if you see them while I'm reading, um, Julie, cause I know you can pick up on some quick. I'm going to scroll up a little bit though. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's see here. Affordably crafty says hi from Massachusetts. So she understands cold weather too. And cocktails and crochet with Coco said she would bring her barbecue up to the patio door and barbecue all year round. <laughs> Yay! Um, Ursula is saying here, and actually I can click this. Uh, <coughs> and, oh, I guess it's, Excuse I me. it won't let me do it. Is it going to do it? There we go. Oh, look at that. How did you do that? 
<laughs> so cool, Mal. That's a, when you hover over what somebody says, it, it'll pop them up. So all you need is a binge on lives, and then we get to know you real quick. Isn't that the truth? For sure. <laughs> Definitely. So true. Uh, it works for us. How did you do that, Mel? Are you are you the only one who can do it, being the I admin? Think so. Yeah. Um. Uh. Whenever you are the admin on um on the channel, then um you see the chat inside see the stream yard stream yard mm -hmm. and then you hover over the comments of people oh have. i see that's pretty cool um okay and then <laughs> ginger we're confusing david um uh because uh you keep calling people by their real name instead of their youtube name you'll oh. learn them, david you'll learn them. <laughs> I'm still learning, so i get confused too <laughs> yeah oh oops <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, David also says that his stocking will probably be filled with coal. No. That's oh, what he that. says. But Ursula says that she would like her stocking to be bigger, please. <laughs> <laughs> and she's also asking Ginger if um, the stocking could be used for small gifts. Would you use that to put small gifts in? What do oh you my think? Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> Do, do, do. All right. Am I still on? You are. I just Holy... see same frozen screen. No, you're on. You look good. But and... I made it a little short. Um, it, it can, of course, be as long as you want, as short as you want, as big and fat as you want. But I, I want it filled with yarn, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking through the chats here, guys. Oh, David asks, how far upstate? Uh, Julie, I've been to Saratoga and Cooperstown often. Yes, we go to Cooperstown several times a year. We love Cooperstown. That's about, I'd say, an hour and a half um, east of here, of where I live. So, yep, I live about half a mile, not half a mile, a half an hour um, above the Pennsylvania border. So, yeah, I live pretty close to... Um, Cooperstown. We don't go to Saratoga as much. That's a little bit further for us. But there's a great yarn shop in Saratoga. I haven't been to it, but I'm on their Instagram. They have beautiful stuff there. In Cooperstown, there's another great yarn shop called Sybil's. So if you ever get the opportunity to go to Sybil's yarn shop in Cooperstown, you'll love it. It's gorgeous. Sorry. Love yarn shops. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. I was looking at this. I wanted to say thank you to all the people that commented on um, my hat. This is, looks very cozy. A lot of people um, were commenting on that, and I wanted to say thank you. Now, Kim from Affordably, Affordably Crafty mentions here, and I, I don't understand. <laughs> she threw a yarn in my window. I'm not. Oh, serious. yes. Oh. <laughs> She's thrown yarn in my window, too. It's a glorious thing. <laughs> I wish it were real yarn. Right? <laughs> that means she subscribed to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I didn't know that's what it meant. I always just thought, oh, that she's just like, I like you. Have some yarn. <laughs> like, I'm not <laughs> exactly. throwing yarn in your window. I, I thought it was a member on Facebook when you could throw sheep at people. What? Oh, I do remember that. Speaking that's of sheep. That's what I always thought it was like. I remember that. That was a while back, right? It was a long time ago. Yeah, like when it first started. And hi, so, Ginger, um, I actually have a sheep question for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those of you who don't know Ginger that well, she grew up on a sheep farm, right, Ginger? Mm -hmm. So there's a sheep farm not far from my house, and I've noticed that the sheep are all wearing jackets. That's odd. I've never... Okay. I was just curious if there was a reason for that. I didn't know if they were trying to keep the wool clean or if they were trying to keep ticks off or because it's not that cold yet. So in their yeah. sheep. <laughs> and sheep wear wool. No, so I was like, and their sheep, like what do they need <laughs> coats? But they walk around with their little coats on. They look adorable, <laughs> but yeah. is, are they trying to keep them clean, do you think? If, I you, if there's any sheep farmers on the comments, let us know. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't, no, I've never seen that before. Okay. I'll have to take a picture of them. They look very cute. Aw, little they're jacket. Very, they're very adorable in their little canvas jackets. 
Uh, I want to put Denise said that she, they got snow in Minnesota today. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I hate snow. You I really shouldn't live in the Northeast. I know. You shouldn't. I love snow. You but then again, snow. I work from home. So that makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, my <laughs> boss is nice. She she pretty much lets me work at home when it snows because she hates it too. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Good. So we both kind of just commute to the table in the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah, I hate it. Actually, I don't mind it when I don't have to drive in it. That's a good point. I like to look out the window at it. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I like, I like snow for snow days. Yeah. See, I'm one of the people at the work at the school that don't get the snow days. Yeah. I still have to go in or to the table in my kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one I good thing that came out of COVID is that we've learned that we can do a lot from home. Yeah. At least in, in my job, like mm -hmm. nobody would have ever thought we could do so much from home and we can do a lot from home. Found a way. <laughs> yeah. Where there's a will. There's a way. way. Say it with Squishies here. Hey, Squishy. Oh, yes. And hey, uh, I think it, Veronica popped in and Viviana popped in. Oh, no. Nice. I'm missing anybody. Cocktails and crochet with Coco is here. Um, Did, I don't Denise think we said Austin. hi to you guys if you're popping in. Scrap a dap a do with CJ. Ooh. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi. my goodness. How is everybody? So many people. Yes. We're at the so three minute awesome. mark, though, because I, I actually, I'm, I'm going to my mom's after this. So I do have to end at six. So I wish I could run it over a little bit, but I do have to end at six. That's understandable. Where, where, that is so cute ginger so there's ginger's quick project um yeah and ursula is actually asking about that where is that white yarn ginger i've worked with eyelash yarn and my goodness you can't see where you're going if you crochet yeah that's well the, that? the trick is using a super big hook which i got from kim today she sent me a size 10 millimeter clover hook Ooh. But Very so nice. I, I used it to make this in what? Just about an hour? That's yeah. awesome. Less than an hour. Yep. Yeah, the trick to, to this yarn is to use the big hooks. And it's, uh, what kind of yarn is it? It's Loops and Threads, Lovey. Just one of those furry yarns. Okay. Yeah. And that's at Michael's with the loops and threads. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Petra's here. Hi, Petra. Hi, Petra. Hi, Petra. <laughs> and um, there was one. Oh, and Ursula also says she was teasing you, Ginger, saying that the stocking you're working for must be for small gifts because that looks <laughs> like it would be pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, you can make it as big as small you was in quotation. <laughs> You can use it to make, you can make it any size you want to. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Affordable Crafty. Is that Kim? Yes. Uh, she's saying that she's going to need a photo of the sheep and coats, please. Okay. Yes. Well, actually, maybe tomorrow when it's a nice day, I'll go down and I'll take a picture and maybe pop them up on either Instagram or Facebook, my Facebook group or both. So, I yeah, I'll get the pictures out there. Maybe I'll even put them in my intro to a video they are really cute there's there it's not like a huge farm i think it's more like a, a hobby kind of thing oh. there's probably about 10 of them but oh my gosh they're so cute there's your answer so a scrap a scrap a dap a dude oh um said they put coats on sheep to protect them from flying pieces of hay from weeds and from getting chaff there we go. Okay. So it's not a fashion statement. <laughs> no. That's what the wool was for. I was I really guess... hoping it was a fashion statement. I but the colors were kind of bland. If they were going for fashion, they needed to bling those up because they're yeah, kind of just boring colors. <laughs> the sheep themselves are so cute. Sheep always have that dumb look on their face. No, sheep are dumb. <laughs> well, that explains the look. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna um I'm gonna let you guys go for a little bit for a few minutes, but I need to like start getting to, getting ready to leave. So okay. um, I'm gonna move myself out of out of the chat. 
thank you. First, really quick, I want to say thank you, everybody, for coming. I hope this format went really well. If you have any suggestions, please make sure you leave it in the comments down below after this ends, because we would love to hear, for, hear from that and make adjustments next time. Absolutely. And, yes, and next I, week, we're going to be at Yarn Geek. Did I say it right? Yeah, Yarn Geek. Uh, it sounded wrong to me. Yeah, we're going to be over at Ginger's channel at Yarn Geek. So we'll all put up links at some point this week for everybody to get where they need to go to come see us next week. And I forgot to say next week's subject is crochet on a budget. Yep. How to buy yarn when you have no money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop out. You guys can go for a few minutes. Uh, I do have to end the broad broadcast before I walk out the door. So um, okay, I'm gonna pop my camera out. Okay, sounds good. I think we'll just take a couple more uh, comments. Sound good, guys? Sounds good to me. Okay, let's I'm see what we've got here. Nancy's hooked on crochet. Said she went to Cooperstown, New York Baseball Hall of Fame when she was a kid. Yep, I've been there many times. It's a pretty little town. Love the lake. Let's see. Everybody's saying hello. Oh, Affordable Crafty Kim is asking me what I do in education. I am a secretary, Kim. I work in the special education department. And I love it. Love my job. Uh, Denise is already over snow. <laughs> Let's see. Veronica... You're all going to be shocked. Went to Hobby Lobby today. What? I no. know. <laughs> no. I know. It's shocking. Veronica. Hobby <laughs> Lobby? You? <laughs> Veronica loves her some Hobby Lobby. Yes. Well, maybe she'll show us what she got in Hobby Lobby at Tomorrow's Life. That would be good. That would be. I, I bet she's already made a video for it. Probably. Just Probably. Oh, I'm way behind. Way, way, way behind on these comments, you guys. So Ursula, my daughter makes ornaments to put on a Christmas tree for family members and it also gives them out as gifts. Oh, that's cool. I've never made uh well actually that's not true. I think I did. When I was a kid, I used to make the ornaments with my grandma. Me, me, me and my mom. Me and mom, Mama Kitty used to make ornaments all the time. A different, like, kind or a different theme every year. Yeah. So what were, <clears throat> excuse me, what were some of the themes? Let's see. One year we made pom-pom ornaments with yarn. And we made, like, Christmas trees. So we would make, you know, a big, oh, big yeah. one, a smaller one, and a smaller one. And, and then decorate them with beads. And then a fozzy bear. We made it with you know, the fuzzy color, two yarn balls and two little tiny ones for the ears and made little felt hats and little googly eyes and a little tie. And then we Aww. made snowmen and Santa Clauses and what else? Wreaths. With yeah. All with, all with the pom-poms that one year. I remember once we made, uh, we took little walnut shells and we wound up teeny, 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 tiny balls of yarn. And then we used uh, straight pins for knitting needles. And we made like this little knitting basket. It was really cute. Oh, cute. You really didn't do any stitching with it, but it was cute. That sounds adorable. Hey, it looks hey. like Cinder has made it to the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whose name is Cinder. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my daughter to finish getting ready. And then I will be ending the broadcast. I just want to make sure. Yeah. yeah. Knew. Which, I, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> my um, husband has something going on. Usually I have dinner with mom on Sunday nights. But my husband has something going on tomorrow. Hi, Daddy. Yeah, that's okay. It's good to have those um, weekly visits. Well, hopefully it's a good thing. <laughs> It is. It is. For me, anyway. My husband, he's like, ah, let me watch football. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they have a TV, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Last night, I was in, um, we were invited over to my nephew's house. They have ping pong tournaments. And um, usually it's a whole family thing. And so I went along and got there. And it was apparently a guy's night. I was the only woman there. 
Oh, okay. it was awkward. It was awkward. <laughs> yeah. I spent the yeah. night watching Nat Geo in the other room. <laughs> all the men were all out playing ping pong. That's funny. It was fun though. Uh, yeah. I, oh, I'm look at who's here. Who's? Oh, hey, Maggie Day. How are you? Thank oh. you. Crystal, Hi, Crystal. Actually. Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Hey. Hi, Crystal. <laughs> David, you're funny. <laughs> We're all worthy, guys. We're all worthy. <laughs> oh I just, I just want to know how she makes so many wonderful tutorials. If Crystal, if you're still here, I made the worst tutorial of all time. I think we. I, I think I made the worst tutorial. Is Emmy here? Hey, Emmy. Hi, Emmy. What? Everybody got quiet. It was that thirty-second silence thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Tammy's talking about making ugly sweater ornaments. Those are really cute, actually. I've seen those. I like that and uses up scrap. Yeah, I bet it would use up scrap yarn really, really well. Oh, you let go of me, Mister. You guys, I have a great idea for one of our shows. Okay, let's hear it. Around Christmas, ugly sweaters. Every sweater I would make would be ugly. Well, then that's okay. <laughs> I'm not, no I'm not, not, not the campfire oh, cardigan. Not the campfire cardigan, but <laughs> I've made a few ugly sweaters. Yeah. I, I take to, them I to the thrift store, one. and then then I don't see them. Uh, they're still in the thrift store like six months later. Oh, so. my gosh. <laughs> Nobody wants well, I, I like that cocktail. It's the worst, the worst tutorial is yet to come. <laughs> oh. It's, it's never the worst one. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about the ugly sweater, though, only because I am hot-natured right now, and if, I'd wear it for like two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I hear ya. Wow. That's crazy. You could right, make my... a sweater vest. <laughs> yeah. You know a what? Sweater that's, vest. A good idea. that's what I could do. Make you can call vest. it the Chandler. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> I'll have to think about that one. That that's actually a really good idea. That would be good. That would be good. Make a nice one and call it the Chandler. I'd love it. That would be great. All right, I do need so to So we ready to sign off? Now. Yeah, we need to sign okay. off. And I'm so sorry I couldn't stay longer, you guys. You know, I love to chat, but um yeah, my daughter just finished getting ready. So it is Yeah, to go. it's okay. We're gonna be here next week talking about more fun stuff. So it'll be great. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Everybody make sure if you haven't yet, go and subscribe to Ginger um at uh, Yarn Geek. And her link is in the box down below. So make sure you go and subscribe to her because that's where we're going to be. Actually, subscribe to us all. But next week, <laughs> so. yep, next week's at Ginger's place at the Gingerbread House. It's going to be great. It's good. And, and, in the new yarn room. The new yeah. yarn yeah. room. Oh, yes. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. I'm sure that's probably going to be in one of your vlogs, right? Probably. Probably. Okay. Unless still a wreck by then <laughs> <laughs> well i can't wait to see it but anyway thank you all for coming today um we all really appreciate it and uh don't forget to hit that like button on your way out if you haven't yet and uh i appreciate you all thank you so much thanks everybody thanks, everybody bye-bye